The movie begins with Ashley preparing to get ready for her new school. Her mom helps her prepare, as it is a big day in her life. As they approach the school, Ashley asks her mother to stop the car a few meters ahead so that she can make a solo entrance. Meanwhile, we get to know that Ashley's mother, Julie, is going to teach drama in the same school. She meets the principal, who shows her around her office. On the other hand, Ashley enters her class, and the teacher introduces her as a new student. She appears to have transferred from her last school due to an unknown reason. In the next class, the students are surprised to see their history teacher, Kevin, dressed in a strange warrior outfit. He begins a lesson that links violence and suffering to the history of ancient gladiators and the famous Colosseum. The students listen intently, captivated by the topic. The next morning at school, Kevin arrives to find a gladiator statue placed mockingly in his parking spot by his students. Disregarding this, he heads inside the office where he meets Julie. The two have a quick chat and Kevin suddenly leaves after praising Julie's dress, leaving her puzzled. Meanwhile, as Ashley sits in the school park, she begins having disturbing memories of her past school. It is evident that something really bad happened to her. Just then, her friend Max joins her and starts showing her the different types of students in the school. He also tells her about the school gang, saying she needs to avoid them. After a while, Max and Ashley join their history class in an open ground, where Kevin is once again wearing a warrior costume. One of the notorious students from the gang, Nick, mocks his teacher, saying he's spending too much time on his outfit. However, Kevin confidently responds, explaining that the outfit is an important representation of their culture and history. After this, he teaches the students about the virtues of loyalty, humility, and charity, using knights as an example of how men should embody these qualities. As other students leave the class, Kevin thanks Ashley for joining and hands her the list of upcoming history projects. Later that day, as Ashley is chatting with Max in the park, Nick sneaks up from behind. He hits Max with his bag, and then proceeds to mock Ashley for being boring. In the next class, Julie once again encounters Kevin in the office, and this time she asks him to show her around the school. As they roam around the place, Kevin expresses his passion for history and believes it should be felt by students to make it relevant in the present. He gets shocked upon hearing that Ashley is actually Julie's daughter. The next day in class, Kevin calls Max and a mean girl named Carrie to be his volunteers. He then mentions how in the past, dancing was one of the rare opportunities for men and women to interact with each other. On stage, he calls Julie to be his dance companion, as they both are wearing their costumes. He mentions that back then, dancing allowed people to hold a woman's hand, encouraging intimate closeness and private conversations. He then invites all his students to join him on stage for the dance. Randomly, Ashley pairs up with Nick. Later that in their new house, Ashley finds a letter on the table, addressed to her mother. This worries her a lot, prompting her to shout that they're being tracked. But Julie quickly reassures her that this house is completely safe, and no one knows their location. However, even while she naps, the memories of her previous school continue to disturb Ashley. The next morning, Nick glares at Ashley in the class and later follows her to her school garden. He continues to follow her and asks her if she has a boyfriend or if she's a loner. He actually tries to be nice to her, which surprises Ashley. Confused, she inquires as to why he's always so mean to Max. In response, Nick opens up, explaining that they grew up together but later drifted apart due to life's changes. Hearing this, Ashley says that change should be for the better, not for simply changing. The next day, Kevin announces the assignment to his students, asking them to visit a historical place and write about their personal feelings about it. Meanwhile, Ashley notices that Nick has started behaving more decently with Max, which impresses her. Later that day, Nick visits Ashley's house and invites her to join him for the history project they've received. Ashley is a bit hesitant about it, but her mother encourages her to go with Nick. In the next scene, the two visit an airplane museum. Nick takes the opportunity to ask Ashley about her past, since he doesn't know much about her. In response, she opens up about the inspiring story of her mother's grandfather. Ashley mentions that he received a medal for flying a damaged airplane and safely landing it during World War II. This had apparently saved a lot of men from the cruel Nazis. As she continues speaking, Nick is captivated by her presence. 
After their visit, he drops Ashley off at her home, unaware that Carrie, his girlfriend, is secretly watching them from inside her car. The following day at school, Kevin reads Nick's essay, which is about Ashley's great-grandfather. The writing leaves him very impressed, so he praises Nick's potential to Julie. He explains that the boy has a knack for writing and that he has improved drastically over the months. Hearing this, Julie becomes happy as she knows that her daughter Ashley and Nick are hanging out together. Later, Kevin demonstrates to his students about George Washington and his army's war with the British. He is using various props to enhance the lesson. Meanwhile, Ashley and Nick have become much closer, something which the cunning Carrie notices. Kevin teaches them a motivating lecture that hope may come and better things may lie ahead but it is up to the person to shape his or her future. After the class, an envious Carrie purposely bumps into Ashley from behind, causing her to fall to the floor. Meanwhile, Kevin returns Julie's fog machine, which he had taken without asking after using it for the recent history class. In return, Julie asks him to assist her in figuring out the scene work for her upcoming drama. They both then begin reciting the dialogue from the play. As Julie recites her lines, she walks closer to Kevin, fully engrossed in the acting process. However, just as the moment becomes intense, Ashley unexpectedly comes from behind and asks her for the keys, making everyone feel uncomfortable in the room. The following day at school, the bully gang attempts to harass Max, snatching his phone away, but Nick steps in and intervenes. He returns Max's phone to him and walks away from the scene. Carrie is shocked by Nick's behavior and decides not to hang out with him from now onwards. In the meantime, Kevin and Julie discuss the upcoming drama while she sews the costume on stage. He suggests that she act out a scene for the students to help them better understand the play. However, Julie wants to save it for the upcoming year. As the two continue chatting, Kevin suddenly asks why her daughter Ashley is always shy. Julie is slightly uncomfortable by the question, but she eventually opens up that they've been through a lot. She then shows him a photo of Ashley from a few months back and tells him how things used to be different and good. A few months ago, Ashley was like any other teenage girl. She had a lot of friends and had a fun life, but suddenly, without any reason, all her close acquaintances started hating her. Ashley had no idea why, as everything happened all too fast. After some investigating, though, they found an online profile linked to all her school friends, where someone pretended to be her and said horrible things about everyone else. Julie reveals that two girls from her class were responsible for it. Nevertheless, the situation quickly escalated, and even the adults in town blamed Ashley for something she didn't do. When things got out of hand, they had to leave the city to escape the wrath of the people. After hearing all this, Kevin asks about the reason why the two girls did all of this. Julie, with a sad look on her face, reveals that Ashley used to love theater and was cast as the lead in a play. However, one of the girls really wanted the part, and that is why she decided to take matters into her own hands. In the present, Nick arrives at Ashley's home to ask her out on a date. Without thinking twice, she agrees. It's clear that they have fallen for each other. They spend the rest of the day doing fun activities like wall climbing and even trying out the flow rider together. The next day at school, Carrie becomes jealous when she sees Ashley with her ex-boyfriend Nick. Meanwhile, Kevin asks Julie for a 1770s American prop, and they plan to go shopping for it after school. The movie then cuts to the weekend, where the popular kids have organized a house party. Both Nick and Ashley are present, and they are enjoying themselves in the pool. Carrie also arrives there with her cousins, Mel and Alana. As soon as she spots her ex-boyfriend getting intimate with Ashley in the swimming pool, she gets enraged. To her surprise, both her cousins appear to know Ashley pretty well. It turns out they were the two evil girls who spread fake news about Ashley in her previous school. They quickly inform Carrie about it, and the three devise a sinister plan together. In the next scene, Carrie approaches Nick and hands him her phone. She asks him to go through the posts on it. Nick is a bit hesitant as he has started hating Carrie, but after a lot of insisting, he agrees. Meanwhile, as Ashley is relaxing by the pool, Mel shows up from behind, which shocks her. She's the same girl who bullied her by creating a fake online profile. All of a sudden, Mel starts screaming at the party, 
saying Ashley has destroyed her life. Soon, Nick also arrives there and starts reading out the posts from the phone. Ashley is left in utter disbelief as the same events that unfolded in her past are happening again. She tries her best to claim that she didn't post any of those things, but Mel and Alana continue accusing her. Even Nick refuses to believe her this time. Suddenly, Carrie pushes Ashley into the pool, humiliating her in front of everyone. The situation escalates as others at the party start blaming Ashley as well. When she cannot bear it any longer, Ashley runs home from the party, locks herself in her room, and starts crying. Unfortunately, the situation gets only worse as someone captures a video of Ashley being pushed into the pool and uploads it on the internet. It quickly goes viral, and everyone at school starts making fun of Ashley. Max is the only one who feels sad for her. He knows that she's innocent. Later that day, Carrie, who is not done with insulting the poor girl, accuses her of being mean and then slaps her. But this time, our heroine doesn't remain silent, and an argument breaks out between the two. In the aftermath, both the girls are called out to the principal's office to discuss the incident. Julie also arrives there, and Carrie wastes no time in showing her the phone with the posts. During the discussion, Ashley becomes overwhelmed and runs away, insisting that she didn't do anything wrong. Her mother rushes after her and eventually finds her crying in a corner of the school. She hugs Ashley and encourages her to fight back, saying she is always with her. On the other hand, Max approaches Nick and explains that Ashley is innocent in all of this. He has a gut feeling that those posts were made from her fake account. Max wants Nick to at least find out the truth before judging Ashley. Taking the suggestion to heart, Nick decides to visit Ashley at her place. Julie welcomes him at the door and mentions that Ashley isn't at home right now. She then tells him everything that happened in the past and requests him to help her daughter. After the conversation, Nick realizes that he made a big mistake, so he rushes to the place Ashley loves the most, the Airplane Museum. Fortunately, he finds her there and immediately apologizes to her. Ashley sobbingly mentions that she is tired of all the problems around her and wants to leave the place. However, Nick pleads with her to stay and promises to be with her no matter what. He then thinks of a great idea to get back at the bullies. Nick reminds Ashley of the history video presentation assignment and says that this is the perfect opportunity to show the entire school that she is innocent. Soon, the two get to work and Max also joins them. They make some educational videos and Max helps edit them. He even hacks the school network to display her presentation in every class of the school. The next day, Ashley starts her presentation video in front of the class. She relates the witch trial history to her life. In the past, when women were accused of being witches, the entire village would shun them and even try to kill them. No matter how hard the women tried to claim that they were normal people, no one would listen. The same thing happened to Ashley in her previous school. People accused her of terrible things and wanted to ruin her reputation. In particular, there were two evil girls who spread false news about her. The situation became so bad that Ashley lost all of her friends, and some of them even began to attack her. The worst thing was that she had no friends, except her mom. Ashley learns from history that people enjoy watching others suffer. Loyalty can weaken when faced with pressure, and finding someone who genuinely fights for you is rare. Despite her struggles, she believes the past doesn't define her, and there are better things ahead if she fights for them. During her presentation, Ashley mentions that whatever she says, she feels like she's being judged. However, she knows the truth within herself, and that's all that matters. Later, Max uploads the presentation on the internet, and the video quickly goes viral, inspiring many girls worldwide to confront their bullies. In the final scene, Ashley becomes the most popular girl in the school, and everyone starts to like her. The bullies are also exposed, and they are the ones who are treated like witches. As for Julie and Kevin, they also have a happy ending, as they confess their love for each other.